This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hall back with me. Busy morning for you, Robbie. Yes, it is, Mayor Kathy. That's right. You're already here this morning with our uh, Smith Falls Police Constable, Sean Keoghan, and now you've got another guest with you. Uh, and I'm going to let you introduce her, but I just want to make sure everybody knows Robbie was the recipient of a Charles Gohuli Award here in Smith Falls last week, Jen, and uh, which means uh, he got an award for all his volunteering and being such a good ambassador for our town of Smith Falls. So congratulations, Robbie. And I... And I was up against you. You were up against me. That's right. And you won. Well deserved. It was well deserved. Congratulations. So I'm going to let you have the show now and I'll introduce your guest. My guest today is Sharon Coons. She is the executive director of um, the Ontario Panamini Syndrome Association. Thanks, Jen, for joining us today. Thank you so much for inviting me back. And congrats on the big award, Robbie. Well deserved. Thank you. Can can you tell us what the Ontario Panavini Syndrome Association is? Sure. So the Ontario Prater Willie Syndrome Association, uh, or as we like to call it, OPWSA, is a nonprofit charity that was founded by parents in 1982 who wanted to support other families living with PWS. Uh, OPWSA is pr primarily supported by donors, sponsors, and uh, foundations. And with the help of myself, the executive director and an amazing network of families. Uh, we provide uh, support to other families, partnerships across Ontario, and our goal is to enrich the lives of individuals with PWS and making sure that they're living healthy and meaningful lives. Um, we approximately have about 250 members with our association from families, caregivers, uh, professionals that support uh, individuals with PWS. And we serve individuals with PWS and their families throughout their life cycle, including diagnosis, early intervention, school support, transitions to adulthood, uh, residential options and aging. So we do this through a variety of different ways from crisis counseling, to PWS training and providing information to educators and service providers, et cetera. Uh, we spread awareness about PWS, which is going on this month. And uh, we organize a bunch of different events, uh, such as conferences, family gatherings, uh, PWS week at Shadow Lake. And um, we provide fridge locks to our members. So a variety of different things. How long have you been the executive director? So I've been working with the association since uh, 2015, so eight years now. I first started out as a family support coordinator and uh, a year after that transitioned into the role of executive director. So it's been about eight years. Time flies though, when you're having fun. May is... Panamini Syndrome and Amanda's Month, what would you like people to know about Panamini Syndrome? So uh, prader willi Syndrome, or PWS, is a rare genetic disorder that uh, affects approximately one out of every 10,000 to 30,000 uh, births. It is an abnormal abnormality on the 15th chromosome. And that um, causes a dysfunction in a portion of the brain called the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus is, um, plays a crucial role in regulating a number of bodily functions from hunger, temperature, pain, uh, emotions, puberty, fertility, sleep, and balance. So the hypothalamus usually helps to regulate all of those um, areas and so individuals with PWS struggle with regulating those various things. Um, some common characteristics of individuals with PWS is the biggest one you're going to hear about is hyperphagia, which is uh, basically um, a constant feeling of hunger. 
Um, there can also be developmental delays and intellectual disabilities, uh, low muscle tone, poor growth, uh, behavior issues, um, short stature, slow metabolism, uh, high pain tolerance, skin picking, speech problems, uh, you name it, a bunch of different areas. So what I like to uh, let people know is that every individual with PWS is unique and has unique abilities and unique challenges, but that their feelings of hunger are very real and that PWS, like any syndrome or disability, affects each person differently. But um, I also do think it's important to note that they all have wonderful abilities and can enrich your community, as we've seen here with Robbie and getting that amazing community volunteer award. Um, you're, you're, you're such an example of this, Robbie. That and PWS Amy Day Challenge on the month of May. What kind of activities are people do, doing to participate? So throughout the month of May, as Robbie mentioned, we are um, running a PWS Everyday Challenge where each day we encourage individuals with PWS and their supporters to take part in an activity. Some of these activities are physical activity based, um, like going for every Saturday, we encourage you to do a two kilometer walk, run or jog. Uh, some days we might have you do jumping jacks and uh, or dance or taking yoga classes, things like that. And then we also have other challenges that are more um, mental health based or self care based or, you know, arts and crafts and things like that. And then we also have some fun uh, other challenges such as our weekly puzzle challenge. Uh, individuals with PWS are, are amazing at completing jigsaw puzzles. So that's one of my favorite ones uh, that we get to do every every week. Who can participate in the day challenge? So we encourage individuals with PWS to take part, but we also uh, welcome families, friends, uh, supporters of individuals with PWS to take part as well. How many years has the challenge been going on? So our first year running the challenge was in 2018. So I guess this is about uh, five years now. Why is staying active so important for people with PWS syndrome? So as I mentioned earlier, individuals with PWS experience something called hyperphagia, which is just uh, another way of saying that they have a constant feeling of hunger or that they never feel full. Uh, individuals with PWS also have low muscle tone, a slow metabol metabolism, and it's easy for individuals with PWS to gain weight, and it is also more difficult for them to lose one weight once they've gained it. So participating in daily physical activity is uh, an important way that an individual with PWS can just maintain a healthy body weight. May is PWS Amanda's month. What? What? Uh, other activities are going on this year? So uh, throughout May, we are running our Awareness Month campaign. So in addition to the PWS Everyday Challenge, uh, each day I'm sharing a fact about Prader Willi syndrome on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Um, we encourage our members to share these posts with their networks and communities to help spread PWS awareness. They're kind of small digestible facts that help um, others not as familiar with PWS get a better sense of the syndrome. Uh, we are also running a fundraising campaign throughout uh, May. We have partnered with Smash and Test, which is a Canadian online retailer that specializes in rompers. And I'm actually wearing one today. <laughs> um, but throughout the month of May, when a customer uh, shops on their website, www.smashtest.ca or www.smashtest.com and enters a special code at checkout, RWR-OPWSA, 20% of their order is going to be donated to OPWSA. So this is an exciting fundraising campaign that we have going on right now. Uh, but in addition to our May activities, we have 
have um, a camp at uh, PWS Week at Shadow Lake, which is a camp that runs all summer long uh, for individuals with developmental disabilities. And we basically rent out a week for adults with PWS and we are heading there next week. Uh, so that will be exciting. We also have our 1K a day challenge, which we'll bring back in August. And uh, we are working on a new program called the Animal Care Program, where we are connecting individuals with PWS with local animal shelters in their area for volunteer opportunities. Uh, and later this fall, we will be hosting a conference for families and caregivers. And we will also uh, be hosting some other fundraising events like our uh, annual Cheers to Charity raffle campaign and our Wines Among the Vines fundraising event that we host in Niagara-on-the-Lake. How do people learn about the um, old PWS syndrome and, and the situation? So you can find out more about prader willi syndrome as well as the Ontario prader willi Syndrome Association by visiting our website, www.opwsa.com. You can also search for us on Facebook and Instagram and follow along with our uh, Awareness Month campaign. Thank you, Jen, for talking with us today about prader willi Syndrome I mean, it's mine. Thank you so much for inviting me, Robbie, and thank you, Kathy, for inviting me back. It's always a pleasure speaking with both of you. Oh, this is great, Jen. You, you, you're a great supporter of, uh, of Robbie, and Robbie is a great supporter of uh, OPSWA Association, and uh, we always look forward to our conversations. Robbie was here last week, and he talked about his own uh, journey to going through Prater Willie, and uh, he was sharing the calendar that he does every day, and I believe coming up May, and, the, and there's so many things on the calendar people can participate in, and they're so easy. May 26th is where Orange Day, though, right, Rob? Yes. That's right. So we're going to wear orange on May 26th. That's an easy thing to do to help support people with Prater Willie. And join the that thing that's going on as well. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's a PWS Everyday Challenge dance happening on Friday, May 26th at 4 p.m. Uh, virtual dance party. Excellent. Excellent. Robbie's got this calendar memorized. We don't miss a thing. <laughs>